The day's other news now, and a leading property developer has told the BBC that Chinese investors are increasingly choosing to buy in Birmingham rather than more glamorous locations such as Sydney and New York. The weak pound and the prospect of high-speed rail is making Britain's second city an increasingly safe bet. With growing demand for housing, many Chinese investors are focusing on residential projects in run-down parts of the city. Peter Plisner reports. Birmingham's skyline is changing fast and where there are cranes there's often millions of pounds being spent on the ground and a clear measure of the city's success story. This site could be next. They're selling cars here now but soon they'll be selling luxury apartments. Um, towards that area. Yes, towards that area. And these are the Chinese investors who are backing the latest development at Digbeth in Birmingham. Spending around £150 million, the property developer who's brokered the deal says the area is becoming an investor hotspot. The city is growing southwards and as a result of that the wider area of Digbeth is really receptive to big dense schemes like this one. And part of the reason is the proposed HS2 station, which is extremely close to Digbeth. There are also plans for a metro line. In Birmingham's jewellery quarter, the Chinese have already backed this development. Almost 80 apartments are going up and the delegation is eager to invest more in projects like this. This is the second largest city in UK, most promising land here. And also your leader, Theresa May, will be heavily putting her focus to in developing this city. Look around, you got lots of crane here, lots of development. This is very promising land. Latest figures suggest that 54 major projects across the whole of the West Midlands have been funded by the Chinese over the last 10 years, and that 23 of those have happened here in Birmingham alone. And it appears the city has become even more desirable to investors than some other more glamorous places. Some of our clients historically were looking at Manhattan, North America, Sydney and Australia. They're now refocusing all those efforts back into the UK and predominantly in this city and region because of the offering that Birmingham brings. And according to this property expert, it's not just Chinese money that's coming to the region. We have Canadian money invested into paradise. Middle Eastern money invested into the Colmore building and so um, recently we did a transaction where we had South African money being invested into an industrial property. And even more money could be on the way. Birmingham civic leaders have just returned from the Crown State of Qatar and meetings with potential investors for several major projects. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today. A man's